finally this guy got some attention. About time to be honest. As with most of these recent changed or new champions, it's very hard to know what type of champion will best take care of countering this champion. You can never just guess what will happen until he's a few months in. But I'm gonna give you a rundown of his abilities and kit. Aatrox's passive will passively grant him an empowered attack that gains extra range and deals max HP percent damage. It also reduces healing and shield power briefly. His Q allows him to swing his sword three times, dealing more damage each strike and hitting a different area of the effect with the possibility to knock up enemies if it strikes the edge of the blade, which is here for the first one, here for the second one, and here for the third one. His W is a skill shot that strikes the first enemy hit, slowing them, and if it's a champion or a large monster, then he'll be pulled to the center if he's still inside the area of impact after after a short delay. His E passively makes him gain life when he deals damage, and when activated will make him dash, increasing his attack damage for a brief amount of time. He can store up to two dashes, and can also be used in conjunction with Q. Finally, his ultimate will change him, make him bigger, and grow wings. He fears nearby minions and gains movement speed during the process. He also gains extra attack damage, and stores a health bar beneath him that will revive him if he dies while in his true form. Honestly, I haven't had the chance to fight with him yet, but this new Aatrox seems like a beast. I mean, three possible knockups with this Q? Who came up with that? This new Aatrox will most likely be played either on the top lane, which is most likely, or in the jungle since it now has some interesting clear speeds. In the first case, he'll take teleport, and in the second case, he'll take smite. As for his power spikes, I'll bet he has a pretty strong level 1, so I wouldn't really be eager to fight him. And also an interesting level 2 if he goes for his E to grant him lifesteal. He will almost definitely shine most brightly in the mid game, especially due to his reviving ultimate, and items like Trinity Force can really make him the demon he's supposed to be, but be careful for his single sheen power spike. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, his Q only knocks up if he hits a certain spot, you can get out of his W even though it doesn't seem like, and wait before killing him when he uses his ultimate. Ultimately, have fun doing it.